I made that boy bleed. <laughs> the rock took his hands and he wrapped it around that little head. And I rammed that boy's head in that bus. And I split his head wide open. And there was blood all over the rock's hands. And just as promised, the rock took his blood and he wiped it on that belt. And now the only thing missing from that belt is the tears of Mama Rhodes. The rock is a man of his word. He whispered to Cody Rhodes last week. At the beginning of the show, the rock said, I'm going to make you bleed tonight. And that's exactly what the rock did. And all the Cody crybabies did not like that. <laughs> all the Cody crybabies around the world, they were so upset that the rock made their hero bleed. <laughs> We got any Cody Crybabies here tonight? Cody Crybabies didn't like that. The Rock just laughed because they're grown adults crying about Cody Rhodes, crying. Crying about the whooping that the Rock laid on him. The Rock said he was going to beat him like a dog, and that's what he did. <laughs> now, there were some reactions that the Rock saw that stopped the Rock in his tracks. Stuff like that. It breaks the Rock's heart. Just like I know, and it breaks your heart to hate like a lot of you. The Rock is a proud, three-time girl dad. So when I see your little ones crying like that, it breaks my heart. However, <laughs> to those mommies and daddies, of all those little kids who are crying, The Rock wants you to take your little kids right now and put them in front of the TV. Right now, because Uncle Rock is going to drop some gospel on ya. Uncle Rock and everyone here tonight, Little boys and little girls, here's the deal. There are moments in life when a man has got to do what a man has got to do. <laughs> and there are moments in life where we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> and there are moments in life where people stick their nose in businesses and it doesn't belong. And that's exactly what Cody Rhodes did. So there are moments in life right now when The Rock has just got to beat that punk Cody down over and over and over again. <laughs> Do you feel that, Brooklyn? Because what you're feeling right now, you're feeling the energy, you're feeling the mana, because right now, professional wrestling is cool. Right now, the ratings have skyrocketed because of The Rock. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Blood was shed. Finally, we are five days out from WrestleMania. And finally, the final boss has come back to Brooklyn. <laughs> but Brooklyn, the rock didn't come alone. Now, if you see my Amy Bio last night, then you already know this. But if you look at my footy, you'll clearly understand that. It's family above all, pal. Uh -huh. And that's how I've always been. That's how I've always operated. And I wouldn't come to Raw for no reason. No, no, no. I came here to acknowledge my family. No yeet. Uh -huh. And if you continue with that, I'll leave. I have to apologize for these idiots. They're distracting me. I'm trying to cover some business here. And now I'm trying to put my family over, so please shut your mouths. I want to take this opportunity to thank my cousin. Because, to be completely transparent, this is going to be the easiest WrestleMania of my life. A tag team match to determine the stipulation for Sunday night. I mean, come on. We're going to smash those fools. And then it's bloodline rules on Sunday, and that means we're going to have our way with Cody. <laughs> and for that, I'd like to say, thank you, cousin. But that's not it. No, no, no. He went above and beyond as he usually does. And he made that boy bleed. You've seen it, and if you didn't watch it, you've seen it all over the internet. He whooped Cody. 
mind. It's not that I needed him to do it. But Sugar did it feel good to see him do it, you know? So for that, I want to thank you again, so You put your family above all just like me. And that sets the example that only the final boss can set. That's how you lead. And you see, Cody, he's not fit for these shoes. He's not fit for leadership. I told you guys, he's a politician. He's lucky to be here. Because when we started making this thing cool again back in 2020, he was off somewhere doing a whole lot of nothing. And then he saw what the tribal chief was doing. And he's like, my gosh, I need to be a part of that. We allowed you in these open doors, but enough is enough. We can't have you trying to take me off the top of the mountain. My, my children can't have that. The Uso's children can't have that. This is our mountain. We run this business. <laughs> now, if you two idiots think I'm walking into that ambush after what you pulled on Cody Rhodes last week, then you're even stupider than I thought you were, Scallywag. You want to pull that crap on me, then you go to come on up here and fight the whole city of Brooklyn, mates. Now last week, you crossed the line, mates. So the way I feel the time for talk is over. I'm ready for a fight. And I'm not just talking about five days of WrestleMania. No, I want to fight tonight. So here's what I'm thinking, WrestleMania four days away. Biggest WrestleMania of all time. Tonight here in Brooklyn, biggest Monday Night Raw of all time. All thing. Brooklyn, you deserve the biggest main event of all time. Sally, you think this is all here because of you, guys? You think you're responsible for all these people piling into this building tonight? Well, how about you put your money where your mouth is, mate? How about tonight, in the main event, it's Seth friggin' Rollins versus the final boss. I don't think old DJ's got the balls, but his cousin, the tribal chief, he might have grown his head in the last few years, or don't know. So if The Rock doesn't want to fight me tonight, I'd be more than happy to take on Roman Reigns in the main event tonight. Who's got the balls? You ain't gonna fight The Rock, boy! You ain't gonna fight Roman Reigns, boy! <laughs> You're a tough! Crazy son of a scallywag! The Rock knows it! You're not fighting us! However, we always got a plan! So it turns out Solo's got the biggest bag in the bloodline. You're wrong, mate. <laughs> 